Good morning, good morning, my precious brothers and sisters. How are you guys doing? This is Pastor Sean Pinder coming to you again with another morning prayer broadcast. And on this morning, we begin our new series, Overcoming Impossible Situations. Overcoming Impossible Situations. My God, I'm looking forward to to this broadcast as I share from you on Mark chapter 4. But you know, we got to worship before we go into the Word of God. I've been changed. I've been changed. I've been healed. Healed. Come on, you ought to know it by now. Free. Free. I've been delivered. Delivered. I found joy. I found joy. I found His peace. Peace. I tapped into his grace, grace and favor, and favor. I've been changed, I've been changed. Come on, lift your hands to heaven and sing. Heal, I've been set free, free. I've been delivered, delivered. I found joy, I found joy. I found your peace, Lord. Peace, I tapped into your grace. Grace and favor and favor. I've been changed. I've been changed. I've been healed. Sing. Heal. I've been set free. Free. I've been delivered. Delivered. I found joy. I found joy. I found your peace. Peace. I'm in love with Jesus this morning. Grace and favor and favor i won't go back sing i won't go back i can't go back i'm in love with jesus man all of what the holy ghost is doing in my life i ain't going back for nothing in this world sing i won't go back i can't go back to the way it used to be since your presence Friends, this is our winning season. Sing it to the Lord. Sing. I won't go back. I can't go back to the way it used to be. Since your presence, I'm never going back. Sing it. Come on. Never going back. I'm never going back. Sing to the Lord. Never going back. To the way it was Never, never going back I'm never going back Never, never going back To the way I won't go back My God, I won't go back Come on, lift your hands to heaven I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost Come on and help me give him the praise. Help me give him the glory this morning. Help me give him the honor. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Come on and help me praise him this morning, church. Come on and help me give him the glory. Help me give him the honor. Help me give him the praise. I won't go back. Sing it. I won't go back. I can't go back to the way it used to be. Since your presence came and changed me. I won't go back. I won't go back. I can't go back. I love you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. Lord. Speak to your people on this morning. Minister to your people, God. Lord, I pray that you give me an anointing this morning to teach with such simplicity that even a child will be able to understand what the Holy Ghost is saying. Lord, when you taught the masses, the Bible says, He spoke as one that has authority. Lord, the masses said, It was the common people who heard you gladly. Let it be said of this ministry that the common people heard us gladly as we proclaim the word of the Lord under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Be glorified this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Listen, I want to take you into the word of God as we begin to talk about overcoming impossible situations. This entire week in this series, we will be going to a different scripture every week, but you will see what the people of God did in the word to overcome their impossibilities, which is an example to me and you that if we want the victory, if we want to overcome, we have to be willing to do exactly what they did. Are you listening to me? So let's go into the book of Mark chapter four, beginning at verse 35. I want you to hear this. I'm going all the way down to verse 41. Now the Bible says, and the same day when the evening was come, Jesus said unto his disciples, let us pass over to the other side. There was another place in the Bible. Jesus sent them before him. But in this, this passage here, this is a different, complete different story. Jesus said, let us, that means I'm getting in the boat with you. Now, the minute you hear the Bible says something like that, Jesus is saying, let us pass to the other side because we are obeying God because the disciples was obeying Christ. You got to understand that he is 100%. He is 100% responsible for their well-being because they are walking in obedience to him. And it was not their idea. This was Jesus following the Holy Spirit. So he said, let us go over to the other side. He didn't say we're going under. He said, we are going over to the other side. Now watch verse 36. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took Jesus into the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. So there's a group of them in all these boats. Now they're heading over to the other side. Listen to verse 37. Because, you know, when you step into the will of God, it's not always going to be easy. I want you to hear me real good because some people are frustrated. How come I'm going through all of these problems? Did I miss God? No, you did not miss God. You know, Psalms chapter 34 verse 19 says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous but out of them all, the Lord delivers him. How much? He delivers you out of them all. Just say, God will deliver me out of them all. That means no matter what situation it is you are facing, my friend, God will deliver you out of them all. Now listen to verse 37. The Bible says, and there arose a great storm of wind. And the waves begin to beat into the ship so that it was now full. My God, this storm just erupted and seemingly came out of nowhere to challenge what Jesus said to his apostles. The devil will always challenge you when you walk in obedience to the word of God. You know, one thing me and my wife had to learn from studying the scriptures is that Majority of the times, not always, but majority of the times, when God tells you to do something and you begin to obey God, it almost looks like a lie because everything goes in the opposite direction at the beginning of what God tell you that he was going to do. That's why when God told Moses, go to Pharaoh, man, every time Moses went to Pharaoh, Pharaoh made the jobs of the children of Israel more complicated to the point that Moses felt like he wasn't hearing God. Moses said, God, are you sure this is you talking to me? God say, absolutely, this is me. So when, when, when you begin to obey God, the enemy will begin to challenge the word of God. Ah, but I got bad news for that devil. He can't stop the word of God from coming to pass. Now watch this. So this is a demonic storm. He's challenging what Jesus said. We're going over. The devil trying to make them feel like we're going under. Have God tell you, go to the other side. And all of a sudden, the word of God in your life is being challenged. But I stop by to tell you that God is not a man that he should lie. No, the son of man that he should have to repent. If God said it, he'll make it good. If he spoke it, he'll bring it to pass. I stop by to tell somebody, God is about to bring you out of this storm. Shout it! I'm coming out. He come a half set to the hole. Ramanda Babasande, help me give him a praise. Hey, I feel the Holy Ghost. My God, my God, I'm coming out. Let the storm clouds arise. Let the stormy winds blow. 
let the waves crash into my boat because greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world my mama said it like this if Jesus is on board you can smile at the storm shout yes hallelujah glory to God so the Bible says there arose a great storm of wind and the waves begin to beat into the ship to the point that it was now full now the disciples it's seemingly that they're about to sink my god the word the very word of god he spoke to them is being challenged because jesus said we go and let us pass over but man it looks like they're about to go under now watch this verse 38 and he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow how can you sleep in a time like this? And they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? You got to get his attention. You got to wake God up in your situation. God is right there, laying down, seemingly sleeping, wanting to see if you are going to try to solve your problem without his help. He is just waiting on you. He is just waiting on you. I dare you to wake him up. I dare you to call on him. Somebody shout, call on him. Call on him. He said, call unto me and I'll answer you and show you great and mighty things that you know not. Shout, call on him. He can amanda la bosa. Hey, the Bible says, for as many as call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Call on him. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous, they run the in and they are safe. Shall call on him. Shall Jesus. He can have a hundred and a something Hallelujah. I feel this this morning. Glory to God. So listen to this, verse 38, and he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow and they awake him and say unto him, Master, don't you care that we are about to perish? Somebody is at that point in their life right now. But the minute you reach that point where you think you are about to perish, listen to verse 39, and he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, peace be still, and the Bible says, the wind ceased and there was a great calm. I dare you to open your mouth and speak to your situation. He spoke to it and there was a great calm. God arise and let your enemies, let them be scattered in the name of Jesus. Shout yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to call on him. You got to call on him. And the Bible says, Jesus said unto them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? My God, he gave them a miracle without faith on their part. Sometimes God will give you a miracle, not based on your faith, but based on his mercy. You getting ready to go over to the other side because as you go into Mark chapter 5 verse 1 the Bible says they made it to the other side they made it they made it I stopped by to tell somebody you gonna make it you gonna make it shout yes God is able God is able to do just what he said. Come on, help me worship him. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Never ever don't give up on God cause he won't give up on you cause he's able oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 
listen, dear saints. Just lift your hands to heaven right now. Say, Lord, I surrender to you. I'm calling on you. Rescue me out of this storm, Jesus. Rescue me. Rescue me, Lord. If you don't come through, I'm going under. Oh, he's listening to you. The Bible says the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are open under their prayer. He's listening to you right now. He's about to bring you out of this mess because they made it over. The devil challenged the word, but the word got up and whipped the devil. Stand on the word. Speak the word. Cry out to him in prayer. And watch what he's about to do. He is about to arise. And your enemies are about to be scattered. Your storm is about to be still. Your rough seas are about to become calm. Peace. Be still in the name of Jesus. Listen here, friends. We are preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ through the internet right now, through our YouTube channel. We are reaching 235 nations with the gospel of the Lord Jesus. We are not ashamed of Jesus around here. And we are asking you, our friends, and our viewing audience, to stand with us. We are asking you to support the work of God that we are involved in. We can't do this by ourselves. We need your support. We need you, my friend. My brothers and sisters, we need you guys. And I know you guys are for us. I know you believe in this work that we are a part of. We love every last one of you with the love of God. The information is on the screen. Just go ahead and give right now. God is able, sing it. God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, because He won't give up on you. Because He's able to oh. Listen, me and my lovely wife, we really appreciate you guys. We really love you guys a whole lot. So if this channel has been a blessing to you, we want to give you that invitation to go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel right now by clicking on the red and white subscribe button that's below this video. Do it right now. Subscribe. So every time we make our new uploads, you will receive that notification on the new videos, new series, or anytime we go live, which we do every Thursday night and Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you're watching us through Facebook, we give you an open invitation to join our Facebook group it's called I Believe in Miracles. I Believe in Miracles. So I'm looking forward to seeing your requests. And we look forward to accepting you into our Facebook group. Me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, we love you guys. We really care about you. We appreciate you. We look for your comments underneath these videos. Let us know what God is doing through these videos in your life. We read your comments and we take it very seriously. We pray over your comments. We come into agreement with your prayer request that's below these videos because we are believing God to turn your situation around. So this entire week, we are focusing on overcoming impossible situations. And we saw this morning, the apostles overcame because they call on the Lord. He heard their cry and he stood up and rebuked the waves and the winds. And there was a great calm and they made it over to the other side. So tune in tomorrow for another morning prayer broadcast. Can't wait to bring the rest of these series to you. My God, we know your hearts. It's, it's going to be blessed. We know it's going to be blessed. So tune in again tomorrow morning on this morning prayer broadcast. And also listen for the upcoming announcements that we're about to make. God bless you. You take care now. Bye-bye. Listen, I have three announcements to make to you on this morning. I will be coming to Invaders for Christ Family Center in Freeport, Bahamas. That's Sunday, November the 18th. I will be there 10 a.m. that morning to preach the word and 7 p.m. that night to preach the word of the living God. I will be at Invaders for Christ Family Center. That's with Bishop Clifton and Apostle 
Carolyn Cooper, my gosh, my mentors in the Lord. The address is 61C from Bishop Drive in Freeport, Bahamas. 61C from Bishop Drive in Freeport, Bahamas. For more information, you can call 242-352-4787. 242-352-4787. And listen, friends, you don't want to miss that meeting. And you don't want to drag in because there's going to be a full house and seating is limited. So you want to get there as early as possible to secure yourself a good seat. The power of the Holy Ghost is going to visit us at Invaders for Christ Family Center. Listen, if you know someone that's sick, infirm, diseased, that's believing God for healing, a, a healing in their body, please bring them to that meeting. You know someone who needs deliverance from drugs. They just been burdened down and need a breakthrough in their marriage, in their personal walk with God, in their own personal life, dealing with issues and strongholds, need the devil rebuked off of them. You don't want to miss that meeting. I've experienced some of the strongest anointings in my life preaching for Bishop Clifton and Apostle Carolyn Cooper. So I'm inviting you to join me at Invaders for Christ Family Center, November the 18th, that's Sunday, November the 18th of this year, 2018. I will be there for two services, 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. I'm looking to see you all there. I will be back in Freeport of next year, 2019, March the 8th and the 9th for a miracle crusade. God spoke to me at the end of 2017 and said, Son, I'm about to pour my spirit out. I'm about to raise up a new generation. I'm about to anoint a new generation. Fill your horn with oil and go back to Freeport, Bahamas and conduct special meetings. So I will be there March the 8th and the 9th. That's a Friday night at 7 p.m., a Saturday morning at 10 a.m., and a Saturday night at 7 p.m. I'm inviting you to be a part of that miracle crusade. Mighty things are going to happen. Freeport, get ready, get ready, get ready. God is about to pour His Spirit out in a fresh way and confirm the Word with signs, wonders, and miracles following the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Bye-bye.